Hi, it's Adam back from the Rubik's Cube, and today I have the sixth episode of my Road to Sub-20 series. So, once again, I have a competition coming up, this time in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. So I decided to post another Road to Sub-20 video just to uh, show my practice before the competition. So, I do have a couple of things to say, starting off with my upload schedule. So, you've probably noticed that my uploading frequency has dropped um, pretty drastically uh, last week. And that reason uh, is because I got off of spring break and went back to school, so I've been pretty busy. And um, so, I hope you enjoyed that um, constant flow of videos when I had a spring break. Um, but now, I'm going to go back to one to two a week, and um, there are some... Pretty exciting stuff coming up. I'm getting near the end of uh, my list so I can start getting into those new series. I promise back at 500 subscribers. Along with that, I've come up with a new series idea and I will be including that as well. So you'll get to see that within a few weeks. Along with that, of course, will be the inclusion of a ton of new sticker mods. Um, I'm in the process of editing a video uh, right now, so it should be out uh, in the beginning of next week. And not just on 3x3s this time, this time I made a few Pyraminx mods, so look forward to that. Anyway, let's discuss these averages. So on 3x3, I've been trying to do slower F2L in order to increase the look ahead, and that's been working out very well. My averages are down to low 23s, which is a great improvement over the past few months. And moving on to 2x2, I'm learning Ortega, uh, like a lot of you guys suggested on my help video, and... So far, I average around the same that I did before, which is actually very good because it's a new method, and that shows me with some practice, I can get um, below what I had before. So I'm very happy with that, and around the same area with averages on 2x2, on, um, two two, with around 7.3, 7.5 averages, while on 3x3, three three, around 23.5, 24 averages. So this average was actually very good for me. It was a 22.06. I was hoping for a 21 average, but that's perfectly fine. I'm very happy with 22 as well. And um, you may look at it and see some jump cuts around some uh, specific areas. That's because I actually had two fail solves. And um, obviously you wouldn't delete those in a normal competition, but actually there were DNSs. Um, so... In one of them, I believe I hit the timer before I finished the cube. By accident, I hit the space bar. And in another one, I just messed up an alg. So um, I decided to get rid of those two. And the average was actually good. So um, I was very happy with that. My average on 2x2 two two was also below my normal average at 7.2. And that was my first try at a 2x2 two, two two average. While on the 3x3, three three, I had multiple attempts. So I was very happy with that. And uh, that's just showing that I'm dropping my average even more. Like I expressed before, with more practice, I should lower my average. And I guess I'm starting to see that already. Anyway, that's about it for this one. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for me to improve my videos, leave them down below and that would be much appreciated. Like and share this video in order to be awesome. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.